everyone, it's Julie. Um, this is the Back to Basics Weight Loss Surgery uh, channel, and I am your Monday vlogger. Um, this week's question is uh, about skin issues. Um, and the question is specifically, what skin issues did you have when you were heavier? Do you have those issues now that you're smaller? Have you gained any new skin issues since you've lost weight? How did you or do you handle them? Um, skin issues when I was heavier. Um, as many of you know, um, I had the vertical sleeve. Today, actually, I'm filming this on Saturday. Um, and <laughs> I'm still in my nightgown and everything. <laughs> um, and with my lovely just woken up face. But um, uh, as many, and so today is actually my two month surge anniversary. Yay! And many of you know that I had the vertical sleeve gastrectomy. Um, so two years ago today, um, I weighed 310 pounds. And um, lots of issues with skin. Um, just the fact that you have so much more mass to you, um, I think, creates skin issues. My skin in and of itself is really sensitive. And so <coughs> rashes were a normal thing for me. Um, and it didn't really matter where it was on my skin. Um, but um, I, you know, my, my first son um, weighed 10, 10 and a half pounds when he was born. So um, my skin really stretched out from, from that. So I have always had, I always had a droopy stomach. Um, and it really didn't matter how much I weighed <laughs> because the fat didn't fill the droopiness because it was stretched out from the ten and a half pound kid. <laughs> um, so anyway, so I've always had droopy skin um, and I had issues with the excess skin and droopiness, you know, around my stomach. I had rashes there all the time. Although, you know, it was basically eczema all the time. Um, I'd have rashes on my um, arms, in the inside of my thighs, on the back of my legs. It was, you know, basically rashes all the time when I was heavier. Um, yeah. And I, you know, and, you know, along with that, um, because I was so heavy, you know, I, I sweated more. Um, the sweat would collect in the folds of my skin, you know, and all of that kind of stuff. This is not very pleasant, is it? <laughs> I'm like, ew, this is just not pleasant to talk about. But, okay, but I'm being honest, right? Okay, so lots of skin issues when I was heavier. Um, lots and lots. Um, do I have those issues now that I'm smaller? Um... I am currently 140-ish, yeah, 40-ish um, pounds down. I say 40-ish because oh, I'm so bad at math. Um, I gained 10 pounds from my goal weight, so I was 145. So today I'm 135 pounds down. Ooh, that's bad. Anyway, 135 pounds down um, today. Um, I weighed in at 170, 175.2 um, today. Um, do I have any skin issues now? Well, honestly, I had um, I had a tummy tuck, and I got because when I initially lost weight, I had a tummy tuck a year ago, a year and a couple months ago. Um, when I lost all my weight, um, my stomach obviously just got bigger. I mean, it got big enough so that it was covering my pubic area. It was just big. I mean, I could have probably, it wasn't as bad as I've seen, you know, some pictures on, t on, on YouTube and, and other places, um, but it was bad. And um, I also had breast reconstruction. And uh, essentially, I had nothing on on 
my chest. I mean, it was just all skin. Um, and I'm being honest, it was just, there was nothing there. Um, I've been very lucky that, um, and I don't know if you can see this, my arms are not that bad. Um, and I was, I've been very lucky that way. Um, it's just a little bit wobbly. And the, and the doctor said, there's nothing, he, he can't really make it that much better, put it that way. Um, anyway, so I, I did have a tummy tuck. Um, initially, I still had the same issues uh, with at least my stomach and my breasts uh, with rashes. It was, I don't know, it, it was bad. Um, but then I had the tummy tuck and I had the breast reconstruction and I don't really have those issues. Now, I do have super sensitive, itchy skin, period. So, I mean, do I still itch? Yeah, but it's not due to, like, skin issues. Um, it's due just because I'm a super itchy person. All right, have I gained uh, any new skin issues since I've lost weight? No, because I had the reconstruction. Um, and I had the tummy tuck. You know... I don't really talk about my my plastic surgery that much, primarily because I didn't get like body sculpting. I didn't get my legs done. I obviously didn't get my arms done. Um, I didn't get a lot done. Um, I got what I thought was minimally necessary for me to look normal. Um, and. Uh, you know, and, and people don't talk about this often, but, you know, when you go in for a tummy tuck or when you go in for any kind of reconstruction surgery, um, you have a 10% chance of, and I can't even remember the name of it, but you form these pockets of fluid underneath your skin. Everybody, you know, there's 10% chance that you'll get that. Well, guess who got it? Me. <laughs> I was in that 10%. And the thing with these pockets of fluid is that you have to keep going into the doctor to get them drained. Even after the drains have been taken out, they form. And uh, so he kept draining them. And then the worst part of it was is that, now granted, it's only 10%, so I don't want to scare people, but it, I just happened to be the 10%. It's not that he did a bad job or anything like that. It just happens. Um, but... <laughs> The worst part of it was is that, you know, I'd go in like every two or three days for, you know, the draining of these pockets. And um, I started school last year, you know, beginning of August as a teacher. The first day of school, first day of school, and I hadn't really started my classes yet, hadn't started teaching, but I was kind of sitting there because I was sharing a class with another teacher and she was doing her teaching and I was sitting in a chair just kind of watching her teach and then I started feeling wetness around my stomach and I'm like do I feel wetness do I feel wetness well long story short this where my suture had been had burst because of the pressure of the of the pocket of fluid and uh, I was actually literally dripping with water well that fluid stuff so I had to go home the first day of school and um, not teach. <laughs> um, literally, I, the water, I mean, that fluid just kind of came out. It was really gross. Nothing could have been done. Da, 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 da. Long story short, it wasn't my doctor's fault. It just was, okay? Um, maybe he could have left the drains in. I don't know. Whatever. But I've since read that 10% of people have this issue. Now, do they have it when they're supposed to be teaching school? <laughs> Probably not, <laughs> but I did. So that's my kind of like quasi horror story. Otherwise, it went really well. My, my, my uh, scars are minimal. I, you know, very little scarring. Um, I look very normal. Nobody can really tell that I've had surgery. So um, even my breast reconstruction, I mean, I look very normal not overly big, not overly small, that kind of stuff. So, um, so yeah, I, I, I did that to get rid of the skin. Um, 
my legs still kind of look like melted wax, um, you know, because they're all, the skin is on. But, you know, part of me is like, you know, at some point, it's your body, and you have to deal with it, the you know, the way you have it. And I guess I'm just done with surgeries. You know, I've had, you know, I had the sleeve, and then I had this. I'm just kind of done in there. I, you know, and it is my body. I mean, I can't, you know, the more you fiddle with it, the more it becomes not you. Does that make sense? At least in my opinion. Um, anyway, so, and, and, and in a weird way, I kind of like the fact that my legs are a little bit wrinkled because it shows me how far I've come. That, you know, I weighed that much and the, the wrinkly skin on my legs is due to the fact that I worked really hard to lose that weight and I'm kind of proud of it. So, uh, that's kind of how, and it says the last question is how do you handle it? Well, I kind of, um, the rest of my skin I just kind of ignore, you know, I mean, I can't really buy too short of dresses. I can't really buy too short of shorts because I got this wrinkly skin on my legs. Um, and it is what it is. Um, and my arms aren't that bad, so I don't worry about them. Um, and, you know, um, I never got liposuction. You know, when they did my tummy tuck, they didn't do liposuction, so I still have all the good fat that I had there before. Um, it's not, I would not say I'm a toned person. I'm just what I am. I'm just a skinnier version of me and that's it with less skin around my stomach and uh, a chest that looks normal so and that's it um, I hope you guys have a great week exit Melanie is tomorrow so stay tuned talk to you later bye